I play Emily Owens in Emily Owens, MD. And um, she's a great girl. She's, she's really smart and <laughs> layered and complicated and a little bit clumsy. Yeah, absolutely. I think Emily is really relatable. I think anybody, you know, can kind of understand what she's going through and can say like, God, I've been in that exact position and I know that feeling. I think, I think she's smart. I think she's worked really hard to get where she is. Um, that's why she's like guarding it and will do whatever it takes to like, you know, to really establish herself there because she has a real right to it. Will comes in as an intern um, with the rest of this, this crew. Um, he's sort of encouraged by the prospect of, of uh, working at this hospital, sort of state-of-the-art hospital. Um, and very quickly, sort of, um, everybody's, things start to get kind of out of hand. There's a lot going on. Um, he has a relationship with, uh, with Emily. They went to med school together. They were best friends. And so now they're, they're uh, at Denver Memorial together and sort of uh, tackling all this uh, all at once. So. She feels like she's sort of, I guess, graduated from this, this, this high school-esque life, um, only to realize that when she's thrust into this world that's supposed to be this adult professional world, it's a lot like this world that she was trying to get away from. So that's the sort of comic uh, aspect of it. I play Cassandra Copelson on Emily Owens, MD. She's fabulous uh, surgical intern at Denver Memorial Hospital. She knows Emily very well from high school. Well, basically back in high school, I took it upon myself to do good deeds. And I would take the time to point out certain flaws to different individuals to help make them better people. So really, we can thank me for the type of person Emily is today. There might be a little bit of romance at some point, you know, I mean, well, how could you not help but fall in love with a girl like Cassandra? So, you know, there's always some boy around that wants to get her attention. And I have noticed that there are um, some very attractive interns coming into the hospital along with me. And why not show them a little special attention? I tell Emily, you know, sort of how it breaks down socially and culturally um, at the hospital. And so I, you know, I think I'm a little bit more comfortable in the environs, at least, if not with the work yet. It's not that she lives in her own world, but she really doesn't care what other people think, <laughs> except for her father. Um, and so, you know, that sometimes makes her a little bit blunt and a little bit extra assertive at times. The relationship with the father is 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 complicated, I think, by um, her desire to just be, you know, perfect in his eyes. And it's the one it's the one relationship in which she can't totally be herself. Gina is at Denver Hospital. She is the best heart surgeon around. She's top of her field, top of her game, and uh, she's fantastic. Everybody wants to, you know, be as good as Gina. Gina is uh, really good at what she does, and I think sometimes she's, she can be very impatient with people who are not as serious as she. I don't think Gina thinks that Emily really understands the hierarchy within the hospital, and she needs to. I play Dr. Micah Barnes, and I am a fifth-year surgical resident in uh, Denver Memorial Hospital. Micah Barnes has paid his dues right now, and, and he's, he's made it past um, the early years of residency when you're just called on and have to be ready and willing to do anything and everything. I paid my dues a lot, so now um, I'm you know, finally getting to do some of the things that I dreamed of doing. Um, things that 
you know, made me want to become a doctor like surgeries and saving people's lives. I finally now have that opportunity. Although you have that opportunity as younger residents, it's still, um, it's more of the everyday um, experience as a, as a, a fifth year resident.